Smoking is dangerous to your health. Why do we say this? In this video, we are going to talk about the side effects from smoking, how to quit smoking, and what happens to your body if you quit smoking. Don't go anywhere. Watch the video till the end, it will be very interesting. Please like and subscribe if you benefit. When you smoke, tobacco is inhaled, which exposes your respiratory system to a complex mixture of harmful chemicals and your lungs bear the peak of the damage. It is a major risk factor for conditions such as chronic bronchitis and emphysema, a very bad disease to your lungs. As time goes on in this habit, your airways become inflamed, narrow, and filled with mucus, leading to difficulty breathing and a persistent cough. Smoking is also a cause of lung cancer as carcinogens in tobacco smoke damage the DNA of lung cells, promoting the formation of bad tumors. Your cardiovascular system is highly affected as well, with smoking being a major contributor to heart disease and stroke. Nicotine, the addictive component in tobacco, raises heart rate and blood pressure, increasing the workload on the heart. The circulatory system is weakened as smoking leads to the formation of plaque in blood vessels, restricting blood flow and contributing to conditions like atherosclerosis. Smoking further affects the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections, and it has adverse impacts on reproductive health and bone density. The harmful consequences of smoking are not limited to internal organs. The skin is also affected, with premature aging, wrinkles, and a dull complexion. This all said, we know smoking poses a serious threat to nearly every organ in the body, significantly spoiling both the quality and duration of life for those who engage in this habit. When you quit smoking, you notice several positive changes in your body. In the short term, within hours to days, your circulation improves, leading to a better oxygenation of tissues. Carbon monoxide levels in the blood decrease, allowing more oxygen to reach vital organs, and lung function starts to improve, making breathing easier. Both heart rate and blood pressure drop to healthier levels. Over the long term, spanning, let's say weeks to years, the risk of cardiovascular disease reduces, making a healthier heart. Your lung health improves, reducing coughing and shortness of breath, while the risk of lung cancer diminishes. The immune system becomes stronger, lowering your vulnerability to infections. Also, your skin health improves due to increased blood flow and oxygenation. Quitting smoking is a versatile process and the positive changes extend beyond the physical realm, influencing overall well-being and quality of life. The main problem most people have isn't quitting smoking, but rather how to quit smoking. Hope the following points would help. The journey to a smoke-free life involves not only physical adjustments, but also your mental and emotional resilience and the benefits of quitting and have a long and lasting impact on one's health, as was mentioned previously. To quit smoking, you can start by setting a specific quit date, allowing yourself time to mentally prepare for the change. Inform your support network, this can be friends and family, about your decision, as their encouragement can be beneficial. Consider using nicotine replacement therapy, such as patches, gum, or lozenges to manage withdrawal symptoms gradually. Prescription medications available through consultation with a doctor can also help in the termination process. Also address the psychological aspects of smoking addiction by seeking behavioral therapy or joining support groups, providing a structured environment to share experiences and coping strategies. Identify and avoid triggers that prompt the urge to smoke, at least in the initial stages of quitting. Engaging in regular physical activity can also help manage stress and promote overall well-being during this transformative period. Stay positive and focused on your goal, celebrating milestones along the way. Reward yourself for achievements, both big and small, as acknowledgement of your progress and motivation to continue the journey. It's good to recognize that quitting smoking is a process with many setbacks, but maintaining resilience and a commitment to a smoke-free life can lead to long-term health improvements and an enhanced quality of life. We thank you for watching. Good luck with your goal, and we hope this helps you. If you benefited from the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hoping to see you again. We got other videos in our channel. Choose the left or right video and enjoy.